Hi guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Vanessa. I make natural hair videos like one of these ones and uh, sometimes fitness and motherhood videos. So if you're interested in this kind of content, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any content when I put it out every three days a week. Now, if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I'm going to show you today guys how to make your own homemade shampoo and I'm also going to show you how I use that for my hair so if you're interested be sure to stick around so you're going to need aloe vera so fresh aloe vera leaf also bicarbonate of soda or baking soda black soap do the all song is the one I'm using and apple cider vinegar I love apple cider vinegar guys in all of my wash days you will probably see me using apple cider vinegar just because yeah that's just how much I love it so basically what you need to do is cut a small portion of the black soap now um, I found that a little uh, like a little portion of black soap kind of goes a long way to be honest so you don't really need a lot for this shampoo basically the amount that I cut here just like you can see in this video made uh, about 500 mils of shampoo so it was actually pretty good and I didn't use all of it for my hair for one wash I mean so um, yeah so a little goes a long way so basically yeah just cut it just like I'm doing here using a knife and then just put it in like if you've got a mixing bowl that's good I mean that you have specially designed for your hair but I haven't got one so I'm using a Tupperware here um, but it does the job so you want to put it in there and then pour some water now you want to do that so that all of the black soap is covered with the water now um, at this point I went ahead and I added more water to um, to this I just forgot to record it guys so make sure that you know the soap is covered so that it will get sort of it will melt in the water so now we're going to prepare our aloe vera so you cut the portion of aloe vera that you want and then wash it I just went to wash it here um, and then once once you've done that then cut it into like smaller pieces just so it's easier to to get the gel out of it so um, yeah and then you just want to remove the sharp edges just like I'm doing here uh, with your knife then cut in the middle just so that it's easier to take the gel out going to use a spoon and just scoop the gel out uh, into a bowl so and also what I did as you, as you can see there I was kind of scraping the skin just to get all of the juice out of it Once I'm done with that I'm ready to blend it now you want to blend your gel so that you don't end up with lumps of gel up on your hair so it just makes it easier to mix with the other ingredients as well so it shouldn't take too long to blend it once you've done that just put it in transfer it back in a bowl now you're ready to mix your other ingredients so I'm gonna start um, putting in the bicarbonate of soda first now bicarbonate of soda is really good at sort of getting rid of um, excess products on your hair it just sort of gets rid of all the dirt pretty much but it's really really strong so you want to make sure you don't put too much of it because it will dry your hair out um, so I'm using less than um, a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda here just because I don't want my hair to feel too dry now I made about 500 more than 500 mils of you know uh, of, of shampoo so you can see how much that's pretty insignificant so if you're using a lot make sure you make more just to dilute it now now I'm going ahead uh, to put in the um, what's it called apple cider vinegar as well so apple cider vinegar is also a good uh, uh, product for to clarify your hair pretty much 
and then mix that all in now you're ready to mix it with your black soap so my black soap at this point had not fully melted but it wasn't really a problem because uh, most of it had melted which was fine um, I left mine in the water for about I think it was about eight hours but you can leave it for a bit longer if you want um, but I actually didn't mind it like I said with black soap a little goes a long way anyways so mix that all in and then you now have a shampoo so you're ready to wash your hair um, so if you've got like an applicator bottle pour that in there and then use it to shampoo but i didn't have one so i'm using an old shower gel bottle um so yeah i'm just going to pour that in there and use that to wash my hair it still did the job pretty well and also it stores quite well as well Okay guys, so basically I realized that I had poured too much because I wanted to put the lumps of black soap back in the bottle. So um yeah. So don't pour don't pour it all in until it's full it's full, just so you can pour you, you can put in the rest of the of the black soap. But if yours has fully melted, you won't really have to do this. So pop the lid back on and close it. Then give it a little shake just to combine all of the ingredients together and then you're pretty much ready to use it as your shampoo. Um, so I'm starting here on really really dirty hair guys. This is hair from an old wash and go so you can imagine how much product I have in my hair. The camera is not really picking up the dirt like my hair was so dirty, matted, tangled like all of that together. It just wasn't nice at all my scalp as well had a lot of build up on it um like i said the camera is not really picking it up but it was really really dirty but you can kind of tell how matted my hair is right now like it's so it's so, i mean i was just thinking about it like how am i going even going to tackle this hair you know because the way it just looked it was just so horrible but we got through it okay so if your hair is like this don't panic don't panic take your time like you'll definitely get through it um and it actually didn't take me as long as i thought it was going to which is actually pretty good so i parted my hair in two sections and then parted the other section into like two sections so basically so i had four sections so i'm starting here with the back of my head um i usually start with the front i don't even know why i decided to do the back first this time but it doesn't really matter to be honest so my hair wasn't detangled at this point guys because i just couldn't see myself detangling this hair uh when it was in this state because it was so so matted so tangled so dry like you know basically yeah it wasn't the, the right way to detangle it so i just started to wash it to wash it first and then i will go ahead and detangle it later so i started spraying it uh spraying some water on it here just to loosen the curls a little bit um but then later i then realized that you know even if i just poured water on it, it would have done the same thing so i just poured water on the rest of the head so i didn't actually go on to spray it with water anymore because i thought it wasn't necessary so i was just removing some of the products here um because when it was wet i found that the gel was coming out um so that's what i did first so remove some of the products that i had in my hair um yeah and then i'm now gonna go ahead and put the shampoo on it um just to get rid of like what's left behind and also get my scalp clean now this shampoo is actually amazing i really loved it because my hair felt so soft afterwards you know how sometimes you wash your hair and the shampoo i mean and and, and then you end up with really really dry dry hair my hair didn't feel like that at all it felt so good and moisturized and also like really really clean um so 
yeah this will probably be my go-to shampoo from now on to be honest i had a shampoo at home but then i thought with the amount of product i have in this hair i don't even know if that shampoo will be able to get all of it out but this one did a really good job and it lathers really well as well just like you can see in the video um so yeah i was really happy with the result which you, you will get to see as the video progresses um so yeah i'm just scrubbing my scalp here with the not the tip of my fingers guys but with my fingers so scrub it just to get rid of like all of that product on your scalp and also the hair usually when i wash my hair if you've seen my previous wash wash day routine you will find you will notice that i actually don't shampoo my ends so i usually just put the shampoo on my scalp massage it in and then as i'm rinsing my hair um the shampoo kind of you know cleanses the, the rest of the hair but in this instance because i had a wash and go like i said i had put up all over my hair guys and yeah it just didn't look good and i thought i would just shampoo my whole hair so it was quite important that i didn't use a shampoo that was really drying because that was just going to be a problem for my hair uh, in the long run <laughs> So you can see um, how much product I had in my hair from this section so yeah I had so much product guys and yeah it was quite important that I got rid of all of that and this shampoo was just amazing at doing that so yeah I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the video without you necessarily hearing my voice so um, yeah enjoy watching this point you know the two sections had actually got mixed up together so I was trying to separate the other section that I had the way to work on so that's why you can see me doing what I'm doing here um, but it didn't really matter so much at the end anyways because I ended up sort of joining the two sections together so that's why when you're parting your hair guys make sure that you use something to secure it uh, whether it's a hair clip or like a headband or anything like that I I had one but I don't even know why I didn't use it so yeah basically it just makes it so much easier and it saves you a lot of time as well so at this point i had finished washing that portion of hair it was really nice and clean 
um kind of shiny as well which was actually really good compared to like that dull looking hair that i had before and i was trying to show you my scalp here how clean it looked um yeah no product build up anymore all of that was completely gone so it felt really really good my hair felt really nice and clean so i'm now going to go ahead and condition that section so i'm using pantene leave-in con uh, not leave-in sorry pantene conditioner but you can use any kind of conditioner here guys um so you want to make sure that you do this process just to restore the moisture back in your hair okay now um like i said the bicarbonate of soda black soap those are quite drying ingredients to be honest so you want to make sure that you know after you shampooed your hair that you restore that moisture back so use a good conditioner um to to do this so i just went ahead and i put conditioner all over my hair and then twisted it again and then i left it for a few minutes i actually did not record this part guys because i thought it was just too long um i have a wash day video on my channel guys so if you're interested like to know all of the uh, detail steps then check it out i'll link it up here for you so basically i just yeah put the conditioner on it left it for a few minutes about 20 minutes or so and then i went ahead and detangled my hair so i really took my time out here and made sure that my hair was nice and detangled uh and then i put a plastic cap on so and and yeah and then i left it for another 40 minutes so altogether this conditioner has been on my hair for an hour so that's why you can see it kind of looked as though it was like you know dry but trust me my hair wasn't dry at this point so yeah now it's time for me to actually go ahead and rinse the conditioner off <music> it looks as though i'm using really hot water guys i promise you the water wasn't hot uh, the water was kind of lukewarm the reason why you can see smoke is because i was using um like i because i was using a cup i was diluting the water so i'll put the hot water first and then i'll add the cold water on top so you know that's why you can kind of see that smoke but i promise you that my hair wasn't hot like the, i mean the water wasn't hot sorry and my scalp did not get burned or anything like that like i said in my last in my previous video guys if you can wash your hair with cold water that's great but it's cold at the moment i can't do that cold water thing so i'm using lukewarm water now usually when i wash my uh, the conditioner off my hair my twist gets undone it's, it always happens so i just went ahead and i twisted it back again just to keep in the moisture so i'm just showing you here basically what uh, my hair looks like so again nice and clean shiny soft obviously you can't feel it but it felt really really soft compared to that stiff you know stiff kind of uh, hair that i had at the beginning so yeah i'm really really happy with the result and happy with the way my hair turned out so I, like i said i just retwisted everything and um yeah that's pretty much it i hope you've enjoyed watching this video guys if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up most importantly subscribe to the channel for more videos and i'll catch you in my next one bye